Good afternoon and welcome back to Downing Street for the daily coronavirus briefing. Our plan is to protect life and to protect the NHS. Hello, a day in a life during the COVID-19 pandemic. So I'm at work, I work for Good Development Trust and it's Good Friday, so it's usually a bank holiday. Me and my colleague Tom Stratton, who's around here somewhere, have been packaging food parcels. There's not much left because we've packed it all up. For the vulnerable working with Hull City Council, so half my day involves this, well, ish, and another half of it's trying to keep stuff going for young people for our training team, opportunities for youth arts takeover, what this is all about, the day in their life. And then the other half is trying to get my kids doing their own work, especially my eldest, so she's getting there and colouring in and drawing goosebumps pictures with my four-year-old and then winding down on the evening with Kerry, my partner, playing a bit of guitar in between. Wow, it's Friday. Finish for now. Ciao. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 99, wear sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. The long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they've faded. But trust me, in 20 years, you look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future, or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. See you dancing in the purple paint. Purple paint, purple paint. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. 
forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. That's magic. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Do you not know how to flush the toilet after they've had a shit? Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much. Or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. I'm hoping that this really impacts the world. That people start doing stuff together, start respecting each other a bit more, start respecting the planet. Not just fend for themselves, appreciate each other, appreciate the time we've got. Um, because it does make you think when you're closed up, seeing your family from a distance, your friends via a video screen, and you've cancelled a lot of things, your work's been made difficult. so many positives to take from it. You've got time with each other in your household. You've got time to think a bit. Sometimes I rushed around all the time. I was always out. I had plans everywhere and they've all gone. And now I'm having to be a bit creative. I play hide and seek in the woods.
just going to show you my sister Sarah, who's um, doing university work. Hi. I think so. Yeah, she's, she's been doing her, that ever since she um, yeah, just came back from uni and we've been in that station. Okay, so if we come down, all the way down here, and we find my dad who is just um, reacting at the minute, watching TV and eating his dinner. He's actually a key worker, so he's been quite busy, but he's got his day off today. Hi, Satan. Finally, we'll come all the way to my mother, who's doing gardening. She's also a key worker as well, but today she's off as well, and so in her isolation, she's decided to do um, some garden. Yeah, and she's been enjoying it. There's my dog as well, he looks like he's having fun. So, yeah, so yeah, that's basically what we're all been doing today. I've um, just trying to be today, I've been trying to be creative doing this filming, and also we've had to take over just doing research and. However, aspects of trying to be creative to give people what, to, what they want. And um, in my spare time, I also like watching movies, which helps my station. But yeah, so um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. So, yeah, that's all a bit like heavy and serious. We like a bit of heavy and serious here, but you know what? Let's take it down a peg with something a little bit more... Don't 
Winter 